okay guys welcome to episode 3 of the Django crash course so in this video we are going to focus on views and URL so in the last video we spoke on model.pyfi so in this video we are going to focus on the views and the URLs of PyFi so let's do that right away so here's our Django project now so in the in our in our hard code blog app we have a file called views.pyfi so this views.pyfi it's 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 this file connects us to the front end to, the, to, to what you can see so right now I'm going to create a file, I'm going to create a view function right now I'm going to make call this index or I can call it own index is the same thing as the own page I'm going to make sure say index so this is our own page index now so you're going to simply put in the request there you start putting the request now so I'm going to return sound return a response right I'm going to say say from Django from django.http import http response so right now we return something on the front end i can just say return http response web development so right now this is my index function i simply running a response for us on the browser and it's, this, this response simply is web development right so this first one you see here, before we can see this response, we need to create a URL mapping. We need to, we need to create a URL for this function. So how do we go about that? So in your, in your, in your blog app, you're going to create a new file called URLs of Pi file, URLs of Pi. So create this file now. So right now, I'm going to say, I'm going to do some imports. I'm going to say from Django.URLs, I'm going to import parts. So this is done now. So I'm going to also import. I want to import these views, these views, this file into our URL the Pi file. I just mean just say from dot. And if I say for this dot to present the current folder, we are currently in this blog app, and this blog app has this views dot Pi file and the URL dot Pi file. So this dot to present this blog app. So I'm going to say from dot import views. So that's that import view. So once I've done that now, I'm going to create a new variable called URL patterns. So we call this name. This name is what we call. So I'm going to say path. So path now. So once I've done this path, so I'm going to create an empty path for you to view. For you to access this view, you have to pass nothing to the URL. So I'm going to say views dot index. Now give it a name equal to index. So I think that's that. So this view index you see here is coming from our function, which is this. So right now we have our we have this URL dot by file. But there is one more thing we need to check out now. You can see right now Django dot our Django project our Django project does not know about this URL dot by file. Our Django project does not know about this file called URLs.py. So let's inform Django. Let's inform this project that we have a new file called URLs.py file. You get so to your Django project, go down to your URLs.py file, click this. So right now, you need to tell Django about this file I just made. So I'm going to come over here and say part. So I can just come here and say blog. And then, can we just say include blog app dot urls? So I'm going to also import. I need to also import this include here. So that's that for that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now what we've done now. So before I can access this URL dot pi file, if I can access this URLs. This URL.py file for the blog app, I must always prefix my URL with blog. So this is this, so this so this URL.py file is meant for my Django project. You understand? So this URL.py file is for the Django project. So what this one you see here is for our app. You can see there are two different files. You understand? So I'm going to add something here, blog, and then I'll say index. I want to show you guys something. So now I'm going to go down to my browser. So to the browser now, come over here. Put in this, this is our our main domain. This is our main domain. So as I said before, 
you will check here in our project by file if we are we have to prefix the url with blog so i'm going to show you how we do that come here and say blog so as i said now it's having now it has been prefixed with the blog so one more thing also need to come over to the app py file and also add this index so i'm going to do that now index so this blog this blog you have here simply means that we are currently working with the blog app URLs. That's what it means. You can, you can have several apps. So this blog means that okay, currently we are working with the blog app here at the PyFi with the blog app. And I said before we can have several apps in our Django project. So right now I need to also add this index so I can assess this view. And this view is coming from here. You can see. So let's do that right now. Let's say index. Enter. Oh, it says page not found. What could be wrong? Come over here. So I need to add this for slash here. Add that. It's necessary. So come on the browser again. Refresh. Right now you can see we have this right now you can see we have web development on the page and it's coming from this view. Understand? You can see the URL mapping. First of all, you need to add this blog to tell us that we are working with the blog app the URLs. You must always add this to your browser and then this index which we have here that tells us okay, we are pointing down to this particular view. I can come over here and remove. I can say I'm not. I can just remove this now, and also come over here and remove this. So, so right now, if I come over to my browser and refresh the page, let's see, it won't work. You can see I need to remove both of them also from here, and enter. I can see right now we still have our web development. That's that. So okay now. So right now we are simply returning an HTTP response. What's in reality wants to return a standard template. So how do you go about that? So right now, let's add a standard template. So right now, I simply return a response to the browser. So right now, I want to, re want, want to render a template to the browser. So let's do that right away. So I'm going, I'm going on to my blog app and create a new folder called templates. A new folder called templates. So in this folder, I'm going to create another. In this templates folder, I'm going to create another folder with the name of my app. I'm going to see me say new folder. I'm going to call this blog app. And so this folder, I'm going to create another file called index.html. Index.html. Okay, perfect. So right now, I have a file called index.html. So go down to your views now. So instead of using HTTP response, I'm going to be using the templates. Let me just save it so render so right now i'm going to say return render so i put in the request and then name of my template instance so i'm going to put in the name of the app the name of the folder inside of this template folder because django already knows about this template folder so i need to tell django mom so right now it's just putting the name of our app called blog app and then no and and then the name of my template file which is called index.html Okay, that's that now perfect so right now i want to render out all the blogs i have on in my database i want to render everything out on this template right so let's go right the video let me just come over here and say i need to for import our blog i'll say from dot import from dot models import blog i think i'm right so that's done. So I'm going to see come over here and say blogs. This is a variable now called blogs should be equal to blog dot object dot all. So right now I just imported all the blogs I have in my database. So I'm going to create a dictionary called context. Context now. So this context is going to be it's going to help us pass these blogs to our templates. So I'm going to come here and say, I'm going to come here and say blogs, and then it's going to be equal to it's going to be equal to these blocks we have here in the stand blocks so so that's that so once i've done that i need to pass this context to this 
our render function i'm going to say context it's that so that's that right now you can see that so that's that so this context is going to help us pass this block data into this template so we've done that perfect so what's left now so right now we can now access these blocks inside of our index.html so i'm going to come here just basic html stuff so we have the same you just say block index so now let's come over here and put in a ul and on, and, and on ordered list ul so this ul now it's so right now our blog is simply within a query set. Our blog is simply within a list of blog items, a list of blogs. I need to look through this blog to get the individual blogs. So I'll come here and say for. So for it to work with for it to work with Django on 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 what is it called? For it to work with Django on HTML5, you need to install an extension in your VS Code. This extension is called Jinja. So it's called Jinja. This is called this name Jinja. So just check your extension panel, which is over here, and search for this extension called Jinja. So currently, my internet is currently down. That's why I can't see this now. So just search for this extension called Jinja and install it. Once you install that, you can easily write this Django kind of code in your HTML. The extension is called Jinja. Check your extension panel and just search for Jinja and install it. So that's that. So once you've done this now, so I'm going to look through this blog. You might remember this blog is called, you can see it's called blogs over here. So you can, as right now we can access this blog in this index file. So let me just say for blog, I'll say for blog in blogs. So I'll just come over here and say, let me just come over here and just, I'll put in the let me just put in the a the li tag and then the a tag and then I'll come here and say blog dot title blog dot title so that's that let's see what the index page looks like right now so refresh so right now you can see we have all of our blogs we have the Django for beginners we have for beginners HTML is for beginners crash course right you can see that over here right now we are simply rendering out only the titles of each blog post because what we did here that we are simply trying to just show up only the title you can see i said blog or title right so right now this, this is the index page i list up all the blogs just like we have here i list up all the old blogs here you see here right now what we just did here so right now let's work on the detail picture but if you click on the particular blog link you can go down to the detail page of that blog and read more on the blog so let's look on that right now so right now let's add this detail page to our blogs currently we have the index page don't worry it's not looking beautiful i know but in no time everything will start looking just where we have here just where you have here understand so everything will start looking like this so currently we've not gotten there yet very soon we'll be there okay now so let's work on the detail page of each blog post right so let's do that right away so come over here now so now you can see we have this view this view is just meant to like it's meant for this index page so we need to create another view function for our detail page i'm going to call this the detail that's our detail page and i'm going to put in the request also but this time i want to get each I want to get each blog by their slog remember i made a slog field let me click let me close more of this stuff remember i made a slug field here this slug field is here so i'm going to get each of this block content by just slug so i'm going to share out this slug okay let's do that right away so i'm going to put in slug there so i'll explain everything to you so i'm going to put a new template i'm going to say return render and then let's put in the requests So and then I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a new template called detail.html. That's gonna be in this same blog app, a new file called detail.html. So that's done. So let's put that here again. I'm gonna say blog app then slash detail.html. And I'm gonna also pass in the context. 
I will come here and declare that context in most. So it should be equal. So right now our context is still our context is empty. So right now I want to get blogs. I want to get each blog by its slog. Understand? So I'm gonna simply import from I'm gonna say get object of all four. So now I'm gonna say get object of all four. So I'm trying, I'm trying I'm trying to get a specific blog. Understand? So what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna say blog and then this slog should be equal to this slog. So this slog you see here is coming from our model.py file, the first slog. I'm trying to get each block by this slog. So I'm gonna just say I can call this unique. I can call let's call it slog. Slog. So this slog you see here is coming from our model.py file from the models which we have here. So and over here we have another slog. This slog you see just is it's just a parameter, it's simply a parameter. So instead, so that's that. So I'm trying to get blog, I'm trying to get a particular blog by slog, right? So how to go about this now? So let's continue. So when we've done this now, I'm gonna assign this to a variable. I'm gonna I'm gonna say blog should be equal to this. Have I done? Blog should be equal to this, and I'll set blog over here as this. Okay, so that's that. So now I need to go down to my URLs. Remember, I have said we need to always create. We have another view. We need to create another view. We need to, right now we have another view. We need, to, we need to create another URL mapping for this view. So now let's create. Open the view from your blog app. The URL.py file from your blog app. So now let's create another mapping. So let's create parts. I'm going to say parts. Then I'm going to call this article for slash. You must pass in whatever you have after your request. You must pass that into your URLs. So I'll come here and just put in, put it like this, put in this angle sign. And I'll just simply say str and then slug. Remember this str simply converts our slug to a string. And this slug you see here is simply coming from yeah. That's necessary. So I'm going to put in the name of our function. Our function is called views.detail. And I'm going to put in the name. It should be equal to detail. Okay, so right now we need to right now let's test this thing on the on our on, on the front end on our browser, right? Before I test, I need to make sure let me add some information on our detail page. I'll just put here each one, let's just say detail page detail page detail page for each blog for each blog so that's that now so i'll go down to the browser now come over here you will say article then i need to also pass the slug of any of the blog posts the slug so the slug now i need to get down the slug let me just put in this now ctrl c Put in that and then enter. Oh, what happened? Where is this geo coming from? You are the pi file line seven. Let's run server. So let's see. So go on the browser and refresh. So this is this guy can say detail page for each blog, right? So right now I want to make sure that. I want to get the actual detail page for that blog. So let's do that right away. Come over here now. I'll just put in, let's say H3 there. Remember, we've passed blog to the context and we can assess this blog in our in our in our templates. So I'll come here and say blog.title. Blog.title. So this is how we pass variables in Django. We put in the double double coily breezes you understand that's how we do it for this we did the same thing here double coily breezes this is how we pass variable you understand this is how we pass variable in Django and for, for, and for our templates I can't remember what it's called again for our template filters we simply just use a single the single coily breezes right now this follow up is a, this for is a template filter you understand I hope I'm correct so why this one you have here is a template variable 
you get so that's that so once that is done now so as I was saying, as I was saying blood of type 2 and I'm going to also pass in the body let's just put in the P there and say blog dot body so I refresh this page right now right now I can say I have HTML crash course and then this is the body of the blog that's perfect but right now I want to make sure it works this way so whenever I click on any of these it shows me the detailed page of that blog just where we have over here so let's do that right away okay so I think that's possible come over here now let's do that so now I'm going to go down to my index page now index page I'm going to right now we have this you are this anchor tag this a tag so right, I'm going to pass in here so right now I'm going to use a template filter for the URL there's a URL and then I'll pass in this detail this detail now is just like a link so, so instead of passing this long URL I can simply use this detail this name detail so represent this long URL we're going to have here we are having here so I'll just put in this detail here so once you use a double quotes outside you are meant to use a single quote inside if you use a single quote just so you have if you use a single quote outside you are meant to use a double quote inside so i'm going to just come here and say blog dot slug so let's see refresh the page click on Django for beginners you can see our Django for beginners there I come here and click on React Studio for beginners. We have we have some beginners. You can see. If I click on any of them, it takes me to their individual pages. Right? That's perfect. 